Hello there. So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, market failures again. It's the very last problem about externalities. And again, it's an AP problem um, that I think is helpful to kind of give you the picture of what we're looking at. So it says for special occasions, some people purchase and set up fireworks in their backyards. What could that be? Maybe a baby shower, a wedding shower. Uh, I don't know. It's my 30th birthday and I want some fireworks. Who knows? Assume the market for fireworks is perfectly competitive. That's a big assumption. It's probably not, but whatever. Draw a correctly labeled graph of the market for fireworks. Show the market equilibrium price quantity, PE, QE. Oh, that's some interesting stuff. Okay, we can do that. So quantity of fireworks, demand and supply. So this is our marginal private cost, marginal private benefit. And Q, what did it tell us? QE, PE. Assume that the noise from the fireworks disturbs all of the neighbors. Arr, nah, fireworks, I hate fun. On your graph in part A, show each of the following. Marginal social costs, marginal social benefit, dead weight loss, if any, shaded completely. So if there's an external cost because the neighbors are angry, then we know that there's going to be a higher supply curve way up here, MSC. Now, it also, it also tells us, hey, label that MSB. And that threw some students off this year because they were like, uh, uh, what do I do? You, it's just the same curve, MSB. Remember what I told you in the lecture, right? If there's no external benefit, MSB and MPB are the same thing. Now, this is our optimal because it's where MSB and MSC are. And so we can just shade right there, okay? Uh, so we've done, we did that one, we did that one, we did that one. Now instead, assume that all the neighbors enjoy the fireworks. These pesky neighbors, they can't get their heads straight. In this case, is the market quantity, uh, market equilibrium quantity of fireworks greater than, less than, or equal to the socially optimal quantity Explain. So this is really tricky because what they're doing is they're saying, is the market producing the right quantity in a positive externality? And we just drew a negative one. And so it's actually really tricky that they did that. So what I'm going to do is draw off to the side the positive one. So you have demand, you have supply, and you know that that's the private benefit curve. And you know that there's some like social benefit curve. So the market is here QM and the optimal is here Q opt. And so we can pretty clearly see from this is the market quantity is less than the socially optimal quantity. And it does want an explanation. Now, um, an explanation, you can actually have just drawn a graph. Um, and I probably, if I were taking the exam, would have done that. But we can say less than because uh, the marginal social benefit is greater than the marginal private benefit. You could say that. Um, you know, or you could just draw a little picture and, and say, look at that, I drew that. That's, that's, I think, the easier thing to do, is just to think through this one would be really hard to do it without a graph. Uh, and then C2 says, in this case, if the government bans fireworks, will the deadweight loss increase, decrease, or remain unchanged? Well, we're already not producing enough, right? We've got this deadweight loss over here between QM and QOPT. If they banned them, then, then literally, like, all of this is deadweight loss. And then, you know, people are sad. And so, obviously, like the the deadweight loss would increase if they banned them. Okay, so hopefully that helps you. See you next time.